in this noon hour with fast food workers walking off the job here in St. Louis. It's all part of a nationwide protest to demand higher pay. News Channel 5's Grant Bissell joins us now live from the McDonald's on South Broadway with more on this story. Grant? Yeah, Katie, okay, you see the group behind me. They are protesting for better wages at fast food jobs. These are members of a group called STL Can't Survive on 735. They're trying to make their voices heard by walking off the job today and wanting to get the right to form a union without retaliation. They also want the minimum wage to be raised to $15 an hour. I want to show you some video from a similar protest that was held back in May. These demonstrations are happening in six other cities across the country today at almost every fast food restaurant you can think of, chain at least. Now the group later, leaders say that fast food jobs are the fastest growing industry in the country. However, they offer the lowest pay. Right now, minimum wage is only $7.25 an hour. Now there has been pushback against this idea from people who wonder why fast food workers deserve such a large increase in pay. Well, Georgia Congressman Hank Johnson says the industry has been making record profits lately, and the people that work at these jobs can hardly afford to pay for the basics of life. It's just obscene, and it's um, it's it's not the kind of system that is working for the people. And so we need to change that system. $15 an hour is a fair wage, and, it, and we can afford it. Now, the protest being held here at the McDonald's on South Broadway, as I said, is just the first of today. At 4 o'clock this afternoon, there's another protest going to be held at a uh, McDonald's on West Florissant Road. And then tomorrow, there's supposed to be a rally held by this group at Keener Plaza. Live in St. Louis, Grant Bissell, 